Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to try will you press the button. Pretty much it's going to it's going to tell you what thing over here, but there will be a price, which is this. And then you can either choose to click the button or you won't. So, shall we begin? Okay, first one here is, you have an invisible eye on your neck and have a perfect view in all directions. And and your neck would still, would still look normal. You can't close your invisible eye. Dang it. Okay, the only thing that sucks is what about when you're taking a shower and you get the shampoo in your eye? That would suck. Because you can't even see where your eye is looking to really... Or, well, you could, but... Eh. I I'd just be careful in the shower. Alrighty. Alrighty, here's what's next. <laughs> you sound like Morgan Freeman, but people won't stop asking you to say certain things. Um, well, it would make my YouTube channel a lot more popular. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so I get, and maybe landing a job or something would be easier because, I mean, come on. Who wouldn't love to have Morgan Freeman's voice? I mean, he's Morgan Freeman. Yes. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next one. Okay, you become a mortal god with the very universe at your fingertips until the day you die. Okay, you cannot control free will. No one will ever believe you, and you die at the age of 60. Well, um, for one thing, that means I have roughly a little over 30 years to live then. And I say roughly because that, that's assuming that n nothing medically happens between now and the age of 60. But... If I had the power of the universe at my very fingertips, I would at least, <laughs> I would have made sure I was the one who won the lottery when it was a billion dollars. <laughs> when it was over a billion dollars, okay? Because then I would give, give the money to my family and all that other stuff. So, yeah, I think I would become a mortal god. And even if people don't believe me, so what? I still have... In, but like the genie from Aladdin, I'd have infinite cosmic power. Just don't have an itty-bitty living space. I'd make sure I have a big house. <laughs> so... Yeah, see? This guy's got the point. It's like, dude, if you still have a good chunk of your life, le of your life left, you could still... Ooh, someone beat the system. I like that guy, too. Okay, yeah, no, I would not, because then what's the point of bringing... Okay, if you didn't get a chance to read it before I press the I will not button, it says you can bring back w one loved one back from the dead. The only thing is... You may never see them or communicate with them in any way. But the problem with me is... One, I know too many loved ones that I'd want to bring back, and to bring back just one wouldn't be fair. And two, whoever that loved one is... Like, yeah, I, I would want to talk to them, so... I, 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 just, I just won't. I just won't.
Okay, what's this next one? You could control your dreams, but you could never get out of your bed. Um, the only problem is, is what do you mean by never get out of your bed? Like, is it coma? Would I be in like a permanent coma if I did this? Or would I just like, I'd still be up, but I can't. And I can sit on my bed, but I couldn't, like, go anywhere else except... That's the thing. This is not clear. Because I don't know if it's coma or if it's just I'm sitting in my bed and I can't physically leave my bed. So I'm just going to go if I will not because... Unless my dreams are reality. Okay, have complete faith in religion and be comfort comforted by having a supreme being watch over you, but you can't tell anyone about it. Okay, seriously. I I'm not going to press the button because, one, I... I am religious, but at the same time, I, I, I just don't, I, I don't get this. Because you're still going to have someone come up and ask you, like, like eventually it's going to be one of these, especially around Christmas time, oh, what religion are you? And that's like, how can you not tell anyone? Okay, let me see. You couldn't do an impression of any celebrity, but you multiply your risk of throat cancer by 1.05 every time you do one. Um. Only reason I'm going to say no is, don't get me wrong, it'd be cool to do impressions of celebrities. Probably make me super popular. But at the same time, I sing and stuff too, so I don't want to run that risk of having throat cancer. Because I love my singing voice. Okay. Ooh, everything you touch will become gold and or diamonds. Oh, crud. I hate this. Because I would love that, because then I'd sell whatever I touched that got turned into gold or diamonds. Like, if it was... Like, if it was something stupid like a baseball. But, oh, I touched it and it's gold. I'd love that. Or, like, half my clothes, instead of giving them to Goodwill, sell them on the internet. Because who wouldn't want a gold shirt? Or a gold blouse with diamond-encrusted stuff on the blouse. But that would suck, though, because I, I'm a hugger. Whenever I say bye to anybody, I always give them a hug. Because, like, don't get me wrong, I want the money, but I want the hug. The hug's more important. I like my hugs. Stupid Midas. Alrighty, next one's up, and... It's you become near indestructible and can generate fields of energy, read minds, and live over 2,000 years. Your sanity slowly decays, forcing you to break your moral code, go completely insane at 1,500 years, and watch as everyone you love dies by your hand. Ha! The, f the thing is, though... That's 500 years. If I never marry and become a hermit at the age of 60, 
And then I wouldn't see anyone that I know or love when I get to that point. Oh. Sorry, I have South Park on over there. My bad. Um, but yeah, no, so... You become near indestructible. Can generate fields of energy, read minds, and live over 2,000 years. The only thing with that... Near indestructible... Is, does that also include that you don't age? So, I'm just going to press it because besides, like, my cousin's grandkids or something like that, like, if I don't get married or anything, and I become a crazy dog or cat lady, then there'd be... And I'd be getting insane early then, anyway, so. It's one of these. It's one of these, it depends on who, what. It depends on what they mean by everyone you love dies by your hand. Because if I don't go crazy until 1500, then most of the people that I care about won't die so whatever okay so for our next button here is you have a perfect smile but your teeth hurt all the time yeah i'd say it's called braces <laughs> like oh every time i smile it's perfect but they hurt i i don't know i don't want my teeth to hurt So, let's see what the next one is. Please be something good. Okay, you get a moderately sized pet giraffe that gives you rides and reaches the tops of shelves for you. But, <laughs> it's an evil giraffe that is hell-bent on world domination and, he, and is using you as its pawn. Okay, hear me out though. One, it would be adorable to have a pet giraffe. And even if it's evil, it's like, as long as I'm on its good side, then I don't have to worry about anything. You guys have to worry, but not me. Like, I, I mean, come on. I I'm with the 45% here. You get a giraffe. <laughs> now let's see. Will you press the button? Everyone, I think that's supposed to be believes. Ballet, I, I'm not even gonna try. I'm, I'm gonna think it's believes. Everyone believes everything you say all the time, but you're unable to tell the truth ever again. Think liar, liar. So, no matter what I say, people believe it. So, I could say grass is candy, and kids would believe it. Ooh, yes. Because why run for prep? Why pay all that money to run for president when you could just say, I am the president? Oh! Okay. Be a guest star in any TV show I want but you'd have bad breath all the time. Uh, 
Okay. But, like, would it be the all the time that I'm on the TV show? And what do you mean by TV show? Like, do you mean live action where it's actual people? Or could it be a cartoon TV show? These are the big questions. I will not, and because I don't really want bad breath all the time, but I mean, come on. Um, okay. This one is, I'll know when anyone will die. But I can't tell anyone. So, let me get this straight. I will know when each of my family members will die. But I can't tell them. Couldn't I still somewhat prevent it, though, without telling them? I mean, that's the thing you're not... Because that's the thing that you don't realize. It's like, if you know when any... If you know when anyone will die, then you could either do one of two things. Try to prevent it as much as possible... Or, like other people down in the comments have said, make it the best week week of their lives before they die. It's up to you. Okay. I get to control the universe, but I can't control Earth and the solar system. Then what's the point in controlling the universe if you can't control your own solar system? then that, that's not the universe, then. Like, I understand that people are like, but I could just create a new one. It's like, yes, but you don't live on the new one. You live on the old one. Okay, so... I will grow wings, breathe fire, be invincible, and get $10 billion. But, family, friends, and all loved ones will die in front of you in horrible ways over the next year, and you will step on a Lego every day for as long as you live. Okay, one... If I'm invincible, that Lego means jack squat. And two, I breathe fire. So I could kill whoever's harming my family. Th that's the thing that you don't... That's the thing that you don't realize with this, is like, I can bring people that, all the people that I love to safety. During that time period in the year. Like, I can put them in safe houses and stuff. Because I'd have the money to do that. And then kill whoever goes after them. So, yeah. And if people are like, but what? Because then, okay, I'd wear shoes all the time. Make sure every Lego is cleaned up. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I am a handsome, wealthy man and have a long life. You are also severely autistic. Yes, but what brand of severely autistic, though? Because it could be, it could still be a mild case or something. Like, 
it may say severely, but as long as I have the money I can to make sure I can do things that I want and take care of myself and my family, then okay then. And I understand it says wealthy man. I'm going to assume also that it means woman too. Or all figurations of being here because, let's face it, there's more than just guys doing this will you press the button game, so. Okay. See, I don't get why people are would not press the button. If, if you're autistic, you're still a person too. And it's like, okay, you're severely autistic, but look on the bright side. You're handsome, you're wealthy, and you're going to live a long life. During, with that handsomeness and wealth, you'd be able to do what you want without feeling like the whatever thing for autism is holding you back. Which, honestly, I've seen a lot of people who are really good, even with being autistic and stuff, so... They're just people. I don't know why there's so many people who wouldn't press the button. As l Honestly, as long as I could still sing and draw, that's all I'd care about. Ooh. But would they actually stay, though? Okay, so if you don't understand, it's Twitter is erased from existence. So, poof, bye-bye Twitter, gone. However, everybody that had a Twitter now moves to Tumblr. Personally... I'd want to know how many people already have a Tumblr who also have Twitter. Because then you know you won't get those users. Secondly, do you really think everybody who has a Twitter is going to move to Tumblr? I know, I, I know my parents wouldn't move to Tumblr and they have Twitters. Not to mention my uncles because they'd think it's a waste of time to do all the stuff that people do with Tumblrs. So... I don't think everyone will move to Tumblr, so I don't... So, yeah, see, it's, like, almost even for people that would press it. Okay. Ooh, this is interesting. The government is fixed, but the party system is declared unconstitutional, and everyone is an independent. I like this. Now, I'm not going to get all political, but George Washington did say before he stepped down to not do the party system. And what happened after he stepped down? They did the party system. So that is why you have the chaos that is the, at least for the American standpoint, the Democratic and Republican Party. Because personally, I'm pretty much of an independent. Because I could see the bright side in one argument, and also the bright side of the other argument. I want to take both pieces of that argument that are perfectly valid, and find a way for them to mix. Of course it's tough, of course it's ugly, but if everyone's an independent, then you don't have that party thing. Then if you had any Democrats who actually agreed with Republican stuff, they could. Or any Republicans that slightly agreed with some Democratic stuff, you could. And it wouldn't matter. It just wouldn't. People would be able to think what they wanted to without also being like, oh, wait, but my political party votes this way or that way. Okay? Okay. So... That's why I'm pressing the button. And I understand that 
there are other people over the world that may not have the dual party or even more party system that the U.S. has. Well, that is all for today. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.